Well, welcome back to my little slow bimble around this area. And a slight change of scene from last week where we were in the woods. Obviously, you've probably, you've probably heard, in fact, I think I showed some of it. The path that I was taking last week did follow a river. And so, obviously, rivers, we're going to get some waterfalls. So I've brought myself sort of off the path a little bit, just looking to compose an image here with this waterfall and with the lovely pine and a little bit of the what looks to be the, the last of the heather. Now there's a couple of things that I've been very mindful of as I've been composing the image. Firstly, the shutter speed. Now I'm using a polarizer, which has given me about a quarter of a second exposure. The unfortunate thing with that is, every so often there's a little breath of wind and that's actually moving. Now that wind seems to have dived down now, died down now, but what I might have to do is actually make two exposures here. I'm also being sort of quite particular uh, regarding where I'm placing the upper branches, the upper limbs of the, of the tree, kind of coming in from the, from the right hand side and, the le and sort of exiting left hand side top of the frame. There is a bit of debris in the waterfall. I don't think I'm about to go and clamber down and get rid of it but it's unfortunate that it's there because it it does show up kind of unfortunately the the bit of the the twig that's kind of facing upwards has had its bark sort of ripped off and so it's quite bright in the in the frame. But actually what my eye is really drawn to and what I've tried to kind of almost compose the image around is there's a little, I just, I know you can't see this but I'm zooming in myself just to remind myself. I zoom in on the back of the frame. On the left hand side of the um, trunk of the, of the pine um, there's just a little tiny splash of autumn colour. And then on the right hand side of that trunk, there's a, a, an opening in the, um, in the, in, in the bush and, and there's just another sort of trunk of a tree which is almost mimicking, imitating this, this forward sort of tree. And so even though I've been sort of looking at the other elements in the frame, the placement of the upper branches and the shutter speed, it's actually looking deeper beyond into the frame which I'm really really trying to do and that only really comes I believe from slowing down so now we had a little bit of light breaking through the canopy as well which was actually causing just a little bit of glare on the top left hand side so I was just putting my hand sort of above the frame just to get rid of that a little bit I find that sometimes when there's a little bit of glare coming into the top of the frame you almost can get fooled into thinking that it looks quite nice, quite magical um, on the back of the camera, but then when you take it back to the, to the computer, it, you're kind of wishing you just put your hand across it. I'm going to see whether I can continue to fine tune this, this image. A few midges about as well, which isn't that pleasant, but... Right, we'll see whether we can make another image from here, otherwise we'll mosey on. commercial woods is you can get fooled into thinking that everything's very uniform and 90% of it is but what I like to then look for is just I think when you walk through a woodland like this where a lot of it is commercial plantation or mountain bike are coming morning Hiya. right where was I yeah, so I think one of the things I like to, or one of the things that, for me anyway, walking through a woodland such as this brings, is it allows you to spot what maybe is a little bit different. 
and everything's very uniform, 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 and then all of a sudden something catches your eye. So that's kind of what I'm looking for now. I've, I've come off the main path that's leading up to the peaks. I'm kind of heading a bit further east and then I'll double back on myself back to the van for some lunch. But sun's very bright as well, so of course that brings its own challenge. But let's see whether we can maybe grab, that was a J. Let's see whether, let's see whether we can, I think, I think it was a J anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. The biggest wasp just flew past there. Anyway, let's see whether we can get one image made. As I was saying, let's see whether we can get one image made between here and back in the van. It's probably a good hour's walk or so. So welcome back. So the conditions on that last part of the walk didn't really afford for too much other photography, but still very enjoyable to go out and do the circuit. So I headed back to the van, got myself some lunch, had a bit of a chill out for an hour, a couple of hours, and I brought myself now back into the woods again. Now, it's very, very warm, very bright, very not conducive to woodland photography, but I guess back on my theme of really trying to look harder, and of course that quite often means playing to the conditions. Now, there are some rather nice shaded little areas which may afford themselves, but I'm going to head back up the river to what to a tree and a couple of scenes that I kind of had wrecked yesterday. See whether there's much cop there, but but it's just nice to be out exploring. So I was wandering along the path, and I just happened to glance up, and initially it looked like there was actually some. I mean, there was definitely some crepuscular rays or gold rays coming through. Um, but it actually looked like there was a little bit of mist or dust in the air, but it turns out maybe it was just the just the ferns. But I thought I would scramble up anyway. And then I get the vlogging camera out and the dead cat falls off and rolls right the way back down the hill again. So I've got to go down and do that again. Don't think it's much cop. Just a little square and, you know, it's incredible the dynamic range of the human eye because this actually looks like quite a nice scene but I just get the feeling that it's going to be a little bit harsh. I've gone ahead and shot the scene anyway. Um, I, I liked how the scene is sort of disappearing off into the distance and there's just a little bit of light at the end there. But as I say, I really thought that was, that was sort of mist or dust, but it turns out it was just the, the branches of a tree. Anyway. Now I've got to get back down here again. It should be fun. Let's wander on. Still haven't made it to that tree yet. So it's very frustrating. Kind of walked past this area yesterday and back into it again today. I know there's an image to be had in here, but I just don't see it. Perhaps influenced by a David Ward-esque shot, not sure, but I just don't see it myself, which is frustrating because it's, especially the deeper you go and you lose the noise of the, the river, it just becomes very, kind of almost like soundproofed. Well, the moss has kind of reclaimed the the bottom of all these trunks. I think one of the problems is I was kind of hoping there was maybe going to be at least one of the, the trunks maybe had a bit of a kink in it or had fallen over in a opportune area, but all very uniform. Plus, every so often, the direct sunlight's coming through. You don't want that. What you wanted was 
sort of that sort of indirect sort of soft light. But again, this is exactly why I might doing this. It's not to not to make you know images or not make images and be frustrated from that. It's it's that whole sort of being outside practicing. And I think I said in last week's vlog, you know, I would love to make sort of one, two, maybe three images. I wasn't talking about just making three images. You know, one of the things you know, I know some people's workflow is, you know, they go out and they kick one image, you know, I think for me to really see my, my vision, I'm kind of shooting all the time, handheld, iPhone, on the tripod. Maybe, maybe it'll take another couple of visits to this area before I finally see the image. Right, let's wander on. Plane. So, made it back to the tree. Initially went the wrong way. Walked about three miles out of my way. <laughs> anyway, it was a good refresher going that way. Came back down again. Mm, looks like there's been a nasty accident up there. Got fire brigade ambulance and looks like helicopter as well coming in. Fingers crossed, whoever it is is okay. So, as I was being, as I was saying, or my my concerns were that this tree wasn't going to work today because of those bright patches coming through with the with the sun, and that certainly is the case. Now, it's not going to stop me from taking the image. Again, it's all about trying to maybe refine and work upon a composition, but also maybe trying to make the best of. Um, the conditions by looking for something that might work given the conditions, certainly the composition that I wanted which was taking in a lot of the, the background just isn't really going to work today um, there's just too many bright spots in there but it's a beautiful tree and one that certainly needs a little bit of time to be spent over it so even though the conditions aren't ideal by any stretch of the imagination I think I am going to spend a little bit of time with it. Given those conditions now, having said that, the sun is just starting to, might be some cloud coming in maybe. But given the conditions aren't ideal for the wider image, I've kind of just focused in just on the tree itself. Fantastic trunk on it. It almost feels like at any point in time it could kind of come alive and grab my sorry ass. I'm not sure whether you can pick that up. Just that lovely little babbling brook. Now this, I just had a deja vu moment there. I think there's a vlog out there of me shooting this way into the autumn colours. I'll put it up here if there is. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to carry on shooting here. Chances are it's not going to be a great image but fantastic to work on it nonetheless. And I think what we'll do will call that quits for this week's vlog. Started off pretty promising, but then the conditions made things quite challenging, but it's been a wonderful couple of days so far. And back out again tomorrow, which you'll see next week. So until then, as always guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.